thought I'd be useful as Lord of Winterfell. I'm not Lord of Winterfell. Will you wear the crown? Will you lead the Seven Kingdoms to the best of your abilities from this day until your last day? I don't really want anymore. Why do you think I came all this way? Bong Fighter Videos Hello fellas. So welcome back again to Bong Fighter. I know, I know, Game of Thrones has ended, the series has finally ended, but the excitement is still on. So, it's very hot in India, and of course, we have seen the dragon fire. I mean, in the last two episodes, we have seen the dragon fire that we have never seen before in the entire season of Game of Thrones. So, heat all around. And of course, how can you forget the Indian election? Yes. So many factors contributing to the heat and I will also add on to the heat. I will give my review but one sec. I think it's a wrong t-shirt to give the review of Game of Thrones finale. I should change it right. Now it feels good. It's my Game of Thrones special t-shirt. Yes. Now I get the feel. Now I am getting the energy of Game of Thrones. Today I have got very special. Something very special. Something very exciting for the Indian Game of Thrones fans. What? Let's watch it. Okay, sorry, I just forgot. Please, yeah, don't forget to like, share and subscribe my channel because it always feels good. Now, let's watch it first and then I'll give the review on the finale. So, Indian fans, ready for it? One, two, three, start. Hello guys, welcome to Bong Voyager. And as I've just mentioned, this particular insider vlog is for the Indian fans. And I'm pretty sure you all will be, including me, very proud of our country. This is Game of Thrones for the Desi folks. I belong to the 99% of the population who has seen Game of Thrones and he's crazy about it. With the season 8, here is a list of connections of Game of Thrones with our glorious India. It's always good to know that the show we are crazy about is being created very near to us with Jon Snow, not so Jon Snow anymore, we all know some things that will make us proud. So let's get started. Number 1. The Dragons Dracaris Yeah, The Dragons were created in a Mumbai based studio. Everyone's favorite character in Game of Thrones, the three dragons were created in a studio in Goregao, Mumbai. The company is a subsidiary of Prana Studio in Los Angeles. Getting the three dragons to life included a team of more than 800 people. They were asked to create characters, not creatures. Prana Studio is backed by Reliance Industries and Mahindra Group. So now you know how dragons are somewhere or the other connected to India. Number 2. The GOT merchandise are produced in Dehradun. Yes, you have heard that right. Dehradun is a very beautiful hill station situated in northern India. RS Windlers & Sons are among the few companies which are licensed to produce Game of Thrones merchandise. Even Jon Snow's iconic black coat and all the swords are created by them. The merchandise is produced in Noida where the company has their textile mill. Another Dehradun company, Lord of the Battles, is also associated with the show, creating the props and replicas. Number 3. The costumes and taints of Game of Thrones are made in Lajpatnagar, New Delhi. Yeah. I was very much excited to tell the name of the place because New Delhi, our capital, is even connected to Game of Thrones. You might have remembered or you can recall the Battle of Blackwater. You can recall the tents of Stannis, Stannis Baratheon. I mean, I'm just setting an example. Yes, that's right. 
The Ryan Grassons in Lajpat Nagar is a company behind all the lavish Lannister army costumes and tents, including that of Stannis's. It met right in Delhi and Ryan Grassons were established in 1945 as a military ceremonial uniform supplier. Now they have worked on iconic films including Gladiator, Troy, Kingdom of Heaven, Alexander, Prince of Persia, Captain America, Wrath of the Titans, Avengers, being the others. So one more point to India. Now comes number 4. The Valerian Steel. Yeah. The same material that actually helped Arya to kill the Night King is basically inspired from Damascus steel. It is found in South India. And please, it's for real. It's not a myth or a fantasy. The lethal sword made of Valerian steel can take down the army of death along with the dragon stone of course and in traits are inspired by Damascus steel. It is a distinctive wavy pattern. These blades got their raw material from India as well. Its produced ceased in the year 1750 and was found in the current state of Tamil Nadu. Number 5 Apart from Indira Verma, the Game of Thrones cast now has yet another actor with Indian heritage. Yes, it's true. Can you recall the great, the big Dothraki tribe, the Dothraki army? And over there, you will find one half Indian, half Russian actor, Staz Nair. In this season and also in the last, he has been the latest addition to the Dothraki Khalasar that follows Queen Daenerys into the battle. So, one more actor, at least halfly connected to India. So, quite a proud moment for us. So these are the 5 interesting facts or connection to India with Game of Thrones. Hope you have liked this video.